Hello and welcome to ITV News West Country. Tonight's main stories. Fire ripped through a bus depot in Cornwall, causing hundreds of thousands of pounds of damage. Road chaos as one of the region's busiest routes closes for resurfacing work. As exams start, a warning that too many children are underperforming because they're missing out on breakfast. And taking on the rain, wind and cold as thousands complete Dartmoor's famous 10 Tours Challenge. Good evening. 35 buses have been destroyed by a fire at a bus depot near Newquay. Fire crews were called to the blaze just after one o'clock this morning. The fire caused chaos for passengers hoping to use services around Newquay today. And bus company Western Greyhound has spent much of the day assessing the damage. Police are now investigating the cause of the fire. Well, our reporter Francesca Carpenter is at the depot in Summercourt for us tonight. Uh, Francesca, a staggering amount of damage caused by this fire. Yes, Ian. Well, as you can see behind me, 35 buses completely destroyed by the fire. That's a third of the company's fleet. Now, I've been speaking to the fire services today who say that the windy conditions made this fire very difficult to contain. Burnt to the ground, only the skeletons of these 35 buses remain as police and fire crews now investigate how the blaze started. Kelly Broderick lives opposite the depot. She called 999 after hearing loud bangs outside her window. I was terrified, yeah, um, until I was sure that the fire was moving away from us. I, you know, was really quite scared about the house going up. You know, we've got animals here and you just, it's the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you're going to be okay. When, uh, when it started, the flames were kind of centered around a double-decker bus and we're just going straight up in the air, huge, but it spread quickly along the line of buses that's back there. A strong westerly wind meant the blaze was difficult to control. Firefighters battled the fire for more than two and a half hours. Their main priority was to protect a nearby diesel tank from setting on fire too. On attendance, it was apparent that nine buses were originally involved, but with the conditions last night with regard to the wind, strong winds, actually spread very quickly, very rapidly across the bus yard. We are in quite a remote area. Water supplies weren't immediately available, so additional water carriers were sourced and sent to this incident. Crews initially used water from a nearby swimming pool to contain the fire. It's a devastating day for Western Greyhound's boss, Mike Howarth, who's busy organising replacement services. Well, we, we've got a plan in place. That's why I've been very busy this morning, obviously. A lot of routes are running normally. We've, we've been able to do that. Truro Park and Ride is running normally. Quite a few of the major routes are running normally. There are some we've completely cancelled today on the basis we don't want to run some and not the others. It's caused chaos for bus passengers. Newquay Station was empty this morning. We were intending walking to Watergate. Watergate. Um, yeah, we, did, we came yesterday and now this has happened, so... I don't know what we're going to do. I thought perhaps there was a, you know, a few, but of course, I mean, how can they decide which bus to put on what route or anything? Police have now cordoned off the area as they continue with their investigations. Francesca Carpenter, ITV News, Summer Court. An extraordinary amount of damage, Francesca. Do we know any more about the cause of the fire yet? Well, that, exactly that question, Ian, everyone's asking. Um, in the last few minutes, I've spoken to the managing director of Western Greyhound, who says the fire investigation team have shared some information with him, but he's unwilling to comment any further at this time. Francesca Carpenter at Summercourt near Newquay, thank you very much indeed.